Now, to boost the health care sector in Lagos State, the Lagos State government, in collaboration with the Benjamin Oluo Jebutu Foundation, kicked off its 100 free surgeries in His Excellency Babajide Songulu's first 100 days in office, which was oversubscribed with the high turnout of people at the General Hospital in Ijede. Our correspondent Irene Ubani brings us details. In the quest to revamp and reposition the healthcare sector in Lagos State, the Lagos State Government's Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the Benjamin Oluo Jabutu Foundation, flagged off its 100 in 100 surgical intervention program at the General Hospital Ijede for His Excellency Governor Babajide Songolu's first 100 days in office. The second pillar of development of His Excellency's agenda for a Greater Lagos, TEMES, T H E M E S, H stands for health, speaks to provision of affordable, qualitative, and accessible health care, is to revamp health care delivery and equally ensure healthy, livable, and sustainable environment. Goal three of the sustainable developmental goals set by the United Nations in 2015 to transform the world by 2030 so stipulates good health and well being of the people. According to research, about 50% of Nigerian female population aged 15 to 44 live with fibroids, which are abnormal, non-cancerous growths of smooth muscle which develop in and around the uterus. During the period, surgeries were performed such as hernia, lipoma, breast lump and fibroids. A special case during the operation was the removal of a 9 kg fibroid from a beneficiary who had resorted to using herbal medication as she was financially incapacitated to perform a surgical operation. <laughs> Plus TV Africa spoke with the lead surgeon and founder of Benjamin Oluo Jabutu Foundation on the issue of fibroid in women. You see very, very learnable that I also believe in some very, very bad fallacies about some particular drugs drying up fibroid, some particular things eating up the fiber that they can shrink the fiber, fiber can take them away. You know, those, those things are, are lies, they are fallacies. Our medication does not work. Our concussion does not work. It's a big fallacy. It's a big lie. It doesn't work for fibroids. You know, I don't know, but look at it. So the uterus is where the fibroid stays, uterus, the womb. And they say you're going to pass that out from the anus. There's, never, there's no connection from between the uterus, the womb, and the anus. Anus where you have the alimentary canal, from your mouth to your esophagus, esophagus to your stomach, your stomach to your duodenum, your duodenum to your ileum, your ileum to your rectum, your rectum to your anus. There's no place you have uterus in that place. But somebody tells you that if, if, if you take this medicine, your Fiber would leave your womb and go into your anus. How, 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 how does that happen? It doesn't happen. It's a lie. It's just a big lie. They're just taking money from them, lying to them that they're going to die. It's, going to, it's a lie. Please, if you've got fibroid, see a doctor. It's important you see a doctor and get checked. Very, very, very important. For Plus TV Africa, Irene Ubani.